Hi everybody. I'm so happy that you're here to uh, be with me to learn how to use some dry clay, air dry clay. I use the brand Crayola. Uh, there's also a brand called Dash. And I also, well I've on back order trying to get um, what is called, I believe it's Smarty was the brand, and it's a little softer clay uh, that you can make roses from, rose petals, you know, the thinner, more delicate pieces, okay? So, we're going to do the best I can right now with what I have, and that is the Crayola Air Dry. It makes beautiful little dishes, if you choose. Um, yeah, all kinds of things that um, can be flat and put on your canvas um, and decorated uh, in a kind of a mixed media way. Um, all kinds of ideas to, uh, to use um, air dry clay. Uh, and with air dry clay, it sounds like it dries, you know, in the air fast. No. Uh, it takes to 24 hours uh, to fully dry, depending on the thickness of your project, okay? Um, it can go up to three days, 72 hours, 40 or four days, depending. In fact, I got a little pinch pot uh, that is thick, and it is now on its fourth day, and it's still not dry. Uh, and you'll know when it's dry because the clay will become uh, white, if you've gotten white, that is, colored. Whoops, dry, <laughs> and then not drop it. Um, if you'd gotten the white Crayola clay, air dry clay. Okay, a couple things that you're going to need for this project is wax paper. Um, let me say, I've seen some other others that were introducing how to use air clay and air dry clay and things like that. And in my life experience, it never rolls out easy. And the only thing that I found that would allow it to roll out easy is wax paper. Just wax paper. Even Parliament paper uh, does not work. The wax paper is a dream. Uh, and as you see as I'm molding this, little because this is the leftover by the way, clay that I kept and I'm now reusing. So as I'm doing this, kneading, which is so important because your hands will warm it up, making it softer, more pliable, more rollable, less crackable. Uh, you don't want it dry, but you don't want it damp and wet. And you want to always try to keep your hands as clean as possible. So keep yourself some baby wipes or uh, any kind of wet wipe that you can quickly just reach over, kind of tidy your workspace up with or get you a ladybug right here uh, that I think all crafters out there know about. Uh, ladybug uh, vacuum. You can get it right on, on um, Amazon. I'm going to leave it right there because as I'm kneading and talking. So we just got our wax paper. Now I use a glass surface. Okay? Always. On top of everything that I do, really. Um, and then I have this just cute little measure that I placed there so that I can kind of gauge my length of clay, etc. And also rulers, plenty of rulers <laughs> to look at. Um, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Um, to get to this point is... is after it is fully dry. Now see, I'm sitting here kneading this clay and the uh, little dried pieces fell off into my good dish. So we're going to say goodbye-bye to this for now and set it out of the way. Okay? Okay. There we go. Out of the way. Yes, I'm headless today. 
I get a little bit shy sometimes not wanting to get in front of the camera and those and this is one of those times <laughs> I'm gonna give my board another little cleanup right before we begin also rolling when it comes to rolling pins okay um, you want a cylinder cylindrical <laughs> cylinder yeah there you go type of item now this is a thick glass in fact I got this from the Dollar Tree you know it's a vase kind of thing but use what you have in your home I'm big on that not having to buy everything which is why I love the clay because I'm gonna make my own clay beads okay <laughs> and uh, so simple you know taking a piece of clay and rolling it up and setting it there to dry and you've got yourself your own bead and um, eventually kind of get out of that wood well I'll probably still buy some wood wood beads off Amazon I suppose but that was an idea anyway um, also there is a lot of molds out there and um, when you're buying them I'm learning size is really uh, you know they make it look like it's a lot bigger than it is let me put it to you that way here's a uh, there we go here's a clay mo uh, mold okay and as you can see or maybe this way <laughs> it has different options of shapes and of leaves this was hard to find I don't know what it is, but right now there is a craze for molds. Um, excuse me. I know that um, as I'm doing, resin takes molds. Uh, and you don't have to. You, you can do it over your uh, paint pour that's dried and do a beautiful clear resin pour whatever you know there's just a multitude of things you can do and that resin uh just brings me up the level and you can get that on amazon as well and it is um clear resin and it it actually will say for artists and you know making these beautiful product uh uh, beautiful creations, beautiful, I don't know what, it, it, they're glass, it's what it turns out to be, and you decorate the inside of the glass, and then it hardens, it is beautiful. Um, I have a lot to do, um, but right now we're starting out with our clay, and trying to get molds uh, to get here, because they all of a sudden have a great amount of molds, ones that make flowers, beautiful flowers, you know, I want them to be about that big. All that's out there that I can find are about, like, yeah, little tiny things. Um, the other option I have is waiting on that soft clay and make my own flowers, which I can do, roses, um, but I have to have the right clay. This clay here is just not right uh, to, for it's the thinness that a um, flower would require. There is a, one particular type of flower that we could make with this clay, and that probably would be a sunflower, um, something like that. Okay, well, my clay is getting very, you know, moldable, I should say. And as you see, I've lost a lot of... Now, usually, okay, I do what's called, I make a... Everybody, when they work with air dry clay, knows and uses what's called slip. Now, slip is what you make from the clay and a mixture of water. So, one third clay, or uh, I don't know, uh, a little less than half of clay broken up pieces like all these little dry pieces normally I would have collected them up and uh, quickly put them in my my uh, um, bottle here give it a good shake can you hear that it's about it's a very smooth watery substance 
and you can put your dried uh, pieces in there and of course you know it all mixes together and you dip your finger in it and you're gonna see what that how important that is later also you'll be seeing me use water water is your best friend okay you want to have yourself some water handy and available once you've had your product after you've had your clay all rolled out and um, what else I don't know what that is on there and and keep yourself your um, baby wipes handy so if you just wanted to give that a little wipe in fact I'm going to put another piece of scotch tape there at the top of my wax paper because it's wanting to be silly and come up on that edge boy that need really did spread a lot of crumbs around and of course as soon as that wet baby wipe hits it it kind of softens right up comes up easy peasy okay just gonna give it one more little vacuum I see I miss them over here and another piece of tape on the this corner <laughs> because when you begin the rolling out process you don't want your uh, wax paper to do what you just saw happen which was to roll away from you okay here is my handy dandy masking tape don't you love trying to find those ends I know there's tricks to like bending it over and stuff but Sometimes I'm lazy, I guess. I don't want to do all that. Anyway, go ahead and just put a piece of your tape to hold that corner in good. It still just keeps getting kind of a murkiness. I'm not sure what that is. So we'll see how this works out. Let's see if I can roll out a thin, round disc. You're going to need something that is round at the size that, that you want. And we're um, going to show you what we're going to make here in a minute. But one step at a time, right? One step at a time. Okay. My hands are getting a little dry. And when they become, your hands become powdered pretty good you know while you're been kneading your kneading your clay go ahead and take one of your wet naps whatever it is you use and give your hands a nice go you know clean them up a little bit um, I don't really worry about my rings people say hey, you never take your rings off I know I'm fat okay I was, <laughs> I've been married for 20 years. This ring has been on my finger that long. Uh, I was size 4 back then, okay? I'm not a 4 now. And I'm, I'm not, you know, uh, what was I, 35 at the time? Uh, I'm 56. So, anyway, uh, it it is fine. The clay is so forgiving. All I do is just wash my hands, and if there's anything in there, I just take a little toothbrush, and kind of wiggle around, and boom, boom, boom. It's gone. But when you're rolling, I just have to be cognizant of it because you might leave, like, marks on your clay from it. Okay. And I still have more crumbs. So back to the vacuum cleaner here. This is, a, I guess, a, a uh, ad about cleaning. All right. Let's see if we can't get some... Uh, rolled out clay here okay i've been working on this little guy and i'm really not happy it's getting a little bit on the dry side let me give it a little bit of love see if i can't get the consistency i'm wanting i'm gonna have to vacuum again but you gotta get your clay right that is the one main if you want to make life easy, make your clay 
good. If it's feeling a little dried out, add just a teensy bit of water on your hands and knead it. Um, my grandmother used to make bread. Has any of your, you know, uh, grandparents or uh, mother living, whatever, taught you how to make your own bread? <laughs> it's the same process, a lot of kneading. Then it let it rise and then you knead it back down again. So you really do get some strong fingers if you do that for a, for a very long length of time. Okay, this is feeling a lot better to me. It's not so dry because I just added a little bit of water on my one hand and it looks like it's gotten all those little dried out crumbs that may have been stuck in there and, and caused this pockets or air pockets later. So let me just do this. I want to just pinch off a piece here. There we go. That feels right. Okay. So let me just go ahead and, because I'm not throwing anything away, this will be for the next project. We'll roll that out in a minute. And while we're waiting, simply take yourself one of your um, baby wipes a wet paper towel, um, a clear, uh, what's that called? Um, oh, pl clear plastic wrap, do that. And all that does is just keep all that great moisture in there and be a nice piece to work on next. Okay, and make sure that you have no crumbs. Okay, so now we're down to a lot littler piece. So go ahead and use a motion like I am. I'm sure most of us have learned this in school. I must have had some sort of Play-Doh experience. I remember a little of it anyway, liking it for sure, and some of the stuff. Um, the tools that you'll be needing is a very, very, um, versatile item and that's going to be a cutting item and if you don't have a scalpel um, that's nice and sharp or a knife that's nice and sharp um, I got this one this knife is really nice it came from a nail kit um, be creative um, also you can cut around fine detail with simply a little uh, needle, bobbin needle for sewing, you see that? Don't know what that's called. Anyway, let me stick that back in there. Also, let's see, is there anything else major? Um, oh, having, it, don't go out and buy new tools and stuff until you find out this is a craft for you. Um, you can use, what you, you can use is simple stuff to uh, get the same results and just as easy. Uh, you could use a popsicle stick. Uh, there are varying sizes of popsicle sticks. There's ones like this one, a little bit smaller. Um, you could use uh, the flat. Uh, now I don't remember what this wood is called. I have a package of it. I usually use it, wrap it with yarn and put a flower on it or whatever I've made on it. You know what I'm talking about, but they're flat. And that, you know, you can cut this down so it's a much easier length and use it to smooth your clay out, etc. Uh, when need to, okay. Hopefully we don't need to do a whole lot of that. Okay, I've got this in a nice warm ball. One more check, make sure we have no little uh, hijackers, air dry, dry to hair, uh, hijackers. See, one even hijacked on the glass. All right, take whatever you have. If it's a rolling pin, that's great. Every time I, I do a, a, um, a push to roll out the clay, I like to go ahead and turn it over. Okay. And as you see, there's a little cracking. This is a two-day clay that I did have wrapped, but 
it's not going to matter because we're going to be cutting as you'll see to fit our image that we'll be placing and cutting out to make our final project which is going to be guess what a angel yes so we're going to make an angel and then we're going to use um, A minute here. Uh, now see, that's my fault. I got to talking and didn't realize that the glass had picked up so much of the uh, the, the uh, clay that was drying. So give me a second to. Uh, everything's fixable. Just take your time. To, well, I do know why. I just needed to... You have to keep your rolling pin clean. That's for sure. And your hand uh, from any kind of dust. Because it likes to do that to us. And it really did it to us, didn't it? Well, at least I make the mistakes. So that when it happens to you, you won't freak out. And uh, you'll see how to remedy the situation and in this case it's just going to be needing to be re-rolled and start again all right it's relaxing remember this is just time for you to create something it's not about having to do it it's about just wanting to do it to maybe uh, turn on a good show what I do is I play a lot of um, YouTube videos um, on all kinds of subjects and uh, try to educate myself a little bit, you know. Um, we had encyclopedias back in my day growing up and uh, they weren't so user friendly, let's say. I couldn't Google. I couldn't Google it, okay. We had to memorize our phone numbers by, my, by our good old brains <laughs> now I couldn't tell you anybody's phone number because they're all saved on my phone and um, yeah so that's the way that goes things are changing guys I I wanted to quickly say I just really put my heart out for the Ukrainians that's all I'm gonna say on that subject put here but I, I I devastated just absolutely devastated um, okay back to this okay I think I've got that cleaned off good again I'm gonna give my hands a really good cleaning and uh, also need to do our glass so this doesn't happen again Hopefully I've got it a little bit more wet, so I, I don't know what the problem is really. It is a hit and miss sometimes. It just rolls out perfect, and usually that's when the camera is not on. <laughs> There's something about that darn camera that makes things not want to work. And I, somebody mentioned alcohol would be good to clean the glass rollers. Um, I need to... I have some mixture of alcohol and water because when I paint this with a, with um, chalk paint, I always use on the glass alcohol and water, equal halves. All right, well, this is clean again. And double check the hands, everything. Make sure your ring isn't catching something. Take them off if you can take them off. Um, I just can't because uh, I'd have to cut my finger off. Uh, message across the screen there. Hey, okay, let's try it again. Whoops, if I keep dropping it, I'm gonna lose my mind. And it just picked up a crumble. Ugh, today. Okay, easy up, Clay. I'm 
doing is rolling it in a circle again or a ball not a circle a ball it's a wobbly ball I feel but it's a ball okay get my glass go ahead let's try it again give that a push give it a turn and you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead because I'm already seeing splitting and that's so silly this is a very thick piece of clay right now so I may have to uh, get a just a fresh piece of clay from the bo container box and uh, start with a fresh piece because this piece may just be not fixable seems to have a lot of little dried things in it as you saw it fall all across my board so we just did that and uh, naturally I'm going to do this because that's now a powder dry it a little bit and actually I wanted to pick it up move it over yeah, I know, I see all the cracks on that side, but we will f work with that. Uh-huh, see, doing it again. That is absolutely irritating. I do not know why it's doing that. That is just... Oh, well, relax. Just take a breath. Your best friends are your fingers. Just move that clay together. And we're going to just make it work. We're going to just keep working with this clay. It wants to be ornery, I guess. Give me a little... Ra I've had a hard day today, by the way. Have you ever had days where everything just seemed to go wrong? Even my girlfriend, who needed to talk to me, uh, my ringer was off. I didn't know it. So I didn't get the call. Yes, that's a little piece of, it's called Bella's hair, my, my baby girl's hair. It does not want to get out of there. So there you go. You just have to pinch it. Things aren't going well, are they? Well, this is meant to be, I suppose. Just gonna give that a little wet nap wet there see if I can't get that clay to rebond with itself kind of like using a slip but not right let's check this this probably needs a wipe again why it's stuck. I just can't figure this out. It did perfectly last night. I used this exact, exact, exact roller. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but we're just going to just keep trying, right? I'm going to go ahead and just hit it, even though it's wet. See what happens. Oh, that's what happens. It sticks. Even worse. That tore the paper. How about that, huh? Wow, isn't that amazing? What is going on with my... I don't get this. This has never happened. I've never had the wax paper come out. <laughs> it is silly. Oh my, you're a silly piece of clay, aren't you? Oopsie there. It is wanting to stick. Don't know why. Okay, let's give this a... There goes my wet wipes. Give that a quick wipe. Check our surface. Maybe the surface got too... I don't get that one. That, maybe I pushed too hard, eh? I'm getting frustrated with the little guy. Him not wanting to uh, be cooperative. Give you a little bit of baby wipe. How about that? <laughs> yes, I talked to my projects. Okay. 
just go with it where I put it. See if we can't get that not to do that, please. Alright, we're getting a little better rolling action. Good. Good, good, good. I'm being very careful, believe me. All right, let's see if we can't get a little bit more width and length. And you can see kind of probably why it wouldn't be good for leaves. Now we're getting a little stick. Wipes fell down. And I'm gonna be in a lot of money for wipes. I'm gonna have to come up with another way because this is gonna get expensive. <laughs> Too many days like this, anyway. I didn't have any problems before, but you know, hey, that's life, right? Just gonna also give that just a little wipe, just in case I have to go that direction. You don't know. You just don't know. Clean your surface well, make sure nothing's in the way. And I give it a little of this again. It seemed to really respond well to the baby wipe. I may have found a new little trick here. It, uh, it likes to bring those edges to a little better. we go. Why not, right? Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. I'm beginning to need to move the paper as it's beginning to be a little bit torn in the middle, right? <laughs> oh, I'm wearing my girlfriend's beautiful beautiful necklace. She runs uh, a boutique. It is crystal sparkling bling boutique online. She does lives and you can get cute little bracelets that match your set or matches your, let's say you bought the necklace, maybe you wanted the bracelet to match or you could choose another bracelet. Everything is only $5. Can you believe that? Nickel-free, lead-free, all that good stuff. I haven't taken it off since I've gotten it. I've been in the shower, yeah, of course, shower, all that shower. Hasn't uh, turned any color at all. Still just beautiful, shiny. Um, the earrings I'm not showing because I'm not showing myself. I'm headless today. Okay, we've let this give a little bit of a dry. I'm going to go ahead and see, um, think in here what I want to do, you take a look at my image. I think I may be perfect for my image, yes, okay, all right. The next thing I wanted to tell you about is you don't always have to have a cookie cutter that is in the shape that you're desiring, right? You can make your own stenciling, okay? And this is what I've done here. What I did was take a piece of paper. There we go. Maybe see there. Okay. All I did is sketch it out with a pencil. Okay. Really simple. I just wanted a, a simple shape. Uh, the little dot there is for, I don't know if you can even see it, is going to be for the hole. Okay, to hang it. We're also going to be using some very good Chanel yarn. It's going to be a beautiful angel. Okay, this is just a mixed media beginning with using air dry clay. Okay, so we have reached exactly, okay, what we need. So what I'm going to do is, to, is find something that will make a circular or oval whatever shape I can find to cut it 
so that it the you know so that I could put the image uh, in more and then cut out the image in more detail okay getting rid of what I'm trying to say is all the edges okay so be ready. Now we have cut out our stencil, which is here, that you can see. It's going to be an angel, so, and we're going to be combining yarn, okay, to make the angel. And a little hole at the very top, I don't know, yeah, I guess that's it. You can see the little hole. I will, I will be making that in the clay, so that it then, after it's all dried and done, we can hang it or put beads on, whatever we decide. So we've created something that we didn't go out and spend a dollar for at the Dollar Tree. Who would have guessed, right? You can trace stuff. I mean, I freehanded this, but that doesn't mean that uh, you, you can't choose another way to uh, come up with an image. Um, all kinds of things on the internet, a pin interest you could you could print out. Um, if I can leave any, I'm learning how the technical side works, so I, I haven't quite learned how to put in links. Uh, apologize for that. Um, hold on a second. Mm. Getting thirsty. Mm. While I'm thinking of it, in case you're interested, the reason I use, and you might want to even know what the paper is, so. If I can get it out. Okay, here we go. It's called Thicken Tracing Paper, Translucent Vellum Paper. Okay, 100 GSM. I don't really know what that means. I know this is showing up backwards. Um, but that's the situation I have now. Um, anyway, 50 sheets, 8 by 5 by 11. So letter size, okay? Works with any pen, marker, pencil, overlays, uh, photo overlays, wraps, um, sketching, uh, place cards, tags, etc. So what we have are sheets. Can you see the difference? Can you hear the difference? You can trace things. What if you, if there was an image that you wanted to cut out, let's say it was that angel image, uh, you would lay that over it and simply, you know, you could trace it real easy. That's why I say everyone can do these uh, cute little art projects that are relaxing and they're fun. Okay, so I'm putting my nice piece back in there. Let me return them. Um, I don't, I put them in a place where they don't get bent and uh, etc. But they are very sturdy, so I really don't have much to fear. Like I can go like, see, but now, if I wanted to fold a crease, I can. Like, I made a cat, okay? I think it's so cute. Um, and to make sure that the dimensions were correct, when I was cutting it out, I folded it. As you see, the fold crease is still there. So I went like that, see? That way we had the nice uh, dimensions on both sides so that you have a template. In fact, if I wanted to go with the cat today, I could if I don't waste any more time because I'm seeing our little clay starting to need a little bit of love and attention over here. We got it all rolled out good. I don't want anything to mess it up. I think I'll just dampen it just. I'm liking the baby wipes, you know. Guys, that's working. And I'm going to give it a nice roll afterwards just to smooth it out really nice before we cut it into the shape. Okay. So, hmm, gosh, you know, I was really going to go with the, the angel, 
But I have thought this cat was so cute for the longest time. What do y'all think I should do? He would fit so perfectly in there. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to put my other, this stencil with the other little stencils I've done. And I'm going to go with the cat today. We are changing the way we started out. That is the way I go. I'm going to weave around. And one of the reasons is I had this adorable project in mind. Once these have been cut out and dried, we are going to um, paint them. And then we're going to adhere them to either canvas or wood. I haven't decided. Uh, possibly over a paint pour. Um, I, I'm just not sure. But as you can see, I have gently pushed the little guy in there. And I'm wondering, though, if I shouldn't give it a quick roll. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it just a nice, gentle roll. Make sure my glass is clean. We don't want to make the same mistakes twice, do we? I don't. love to drop it <laughs> okay just a little assessment of our workspace make sure I don't have any leftover cutout pieces because I just cut out the angel because I drew it a few minutes ago I was had an idea to do an angel but as I am well known to you and that is to switch in the middle of the project and possibly go in a different direction and that's what we're doing I'm just slightly dampening this just a little bit and I've learned that you can transfer images also uh, off of dark ink um, type of objects that you've printed out on your ink. you have to have an ink jet or an ink jet printer uh, that you can print out and literally lay on top of the clay after you've dampened it a little bit and you're able to um, have that image transferred onto your clay. No kidding. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just want to give that a good lift. I think that what we're going to do is come over here that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, I think we're going to give it just a little bit of water on the top because I see that a hair. Because I love my dog. I have a miniature schnauzer, by the way. Her name is Bella. She is the daughter because I have had, oh, he is dead now, unfortunately. Can't wait to see him in heaven, though. Hoping, anyway. We seem to have a little bit of a, a little bit of something, something I are that I'm not happy with. We don't want no bubbles. And that's important to be a very smooth, Okay, too damp. That's called being just a little too thin and a little damp. Easy to fix. Just dunk, dunk your little finger in a little bit of water. And we're just going to smooth that out. Let that have a dry. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, now we're going to find a object that we can set over it almost like a cutter cookie cutter that will give us a closer shape around this so that we can cut this out a little more precise pretty sure that's what i want to do yeah so 
Mm. Then maybe. All right. Just, we want to put our stencil onto the clay that we're ready to use. Then just give it a, a nice roll. What we're looking for is just to get the image to adhere to the clay. So that as we're cutting it out, it's a little easier. And if you just try to stay on the image, nothing should stick. Plus it gives you a good time to kind of even out your clay. Okay, now we're going to come to the process of uh, giving it a cut. Alright, I just want to make sure that wasn't sticking to the surface and we got success. You could, like I said, many choices. You've got your, uh, you, you know, exacto knives. They work. Um, this is a little nail kit that I'm going to possibly use. I'm not sure. We'll see how it works. Um, find things around your home. Be creative. Um, even the silly little thing like this, actually, with that rounded edge and then kind of a scooped out spoon actually some uh, helps to smooth out the clay when we're doing vases and stuff. Um, so uh, you, this was a nail kit. Um, also, if it's a very detailed item, uh, you can also use a pin, which I might use depending on, because I did roll this very thin. So let's get on to it. And let's cut our cute little image out. Let's get the knife on the right side, Crystal. Just relax. Try to enjoy it. That's what it's about. I get quiet when I'm concentrating, if you're wondering. If you have any questions, please leave the, it in the comments and I will respond to them and get back with you. Save the little pieces of clay that you're cutting off, by the way. Uh, if nothing else, it can go into the slip and make more. Excuse me if my head gets in the way. And when it's doing that, go ahead and try to go ahead and fix it if you can. If you if you need something sharper, you can always do that. Oh, I see. It's coming. It's the uh, paper. Uh, crystal. It's the wax paper. That's cute. I guess that knife really cuts through it, didn't it? It's okay. All things are fixable. I just got to remove it a little. And continue on. What I did... As I'm thinking about it, is I cut the paper instead of the uh, or and the and the clay through to the paper. I'm sorry, uh, con talking and concentrating. Now that ear did not adhere like I wished it had. So I'm pushing it in there because it's difficult to cut if it's lifting.
sometimes detailed areas like that you see me struggling with um, sometimes cutting your clay down a little bit you know that way you can get a little closer or reevaluate and use a pen um, instead of just forging on like I'm doing but I'm doing it because I, I don't want to waste your time I know you want to see it I want to do it and I hope I didn't cut that wrong anyway we just keep moving forward giving this just kind of a, a little need set out of our way making sure to maintain those little particles because they do start appearing clean your knife before you start again You kind of got to learn, I guess, uh, the pressure that you put on your project, on it as you're cutting. If your image isn't sticking, then you run into the problem I'm having. It usually sticks good, but you know I'm on camera. I can tell the glue's get or the clay's getting just a little dry. See what whether we can what we got here. Hey, yay. Looks like it's separating good. Oh, that makes me happy. All but this little side here. extra and I have plenty of slips so but this is so dry and has been used so many times I think that I'm going to go ahead and just add it to our slip so that's what I'm doing real quickly don't want to waste your time I'll show you how give your slip jar a nice shake make sure it's very well concealed or make sure you conceal. Make sure the lid is on tight. Just throw that bunch of crumbly stuff right on in there. Shake it off yourself. Vacuum later. Uh, go ahead and, you know, put the lid back on. Give it a little shake. There you go. And our sieve is now creating more of itself. Now, I think we have really used up this paper. So what I was thinking... Getting ourselves a little cleaner workspace here. That was a failed attempt to put uh, wax paper down with um, scotch tape. It doesn't work. You gotta, you gotta get masking tape. Uh, I thought that was funny. Okay. I'm trying to be as clean as possible here. Uh, hi. We've, we're resuming. I thought I'd turn that light out and try another lighting. 
One thing about the air dry clay is it is so hard to see detail. Now see, I don't think that gives you even better. That doesn't give you better, does it? Does this? Or about how about that? No. Oh, I don't know, you guys. Well. We're going to go with that. My much apologies. We are cutting out our pattern. Um, making sure to keep that pattern into our clay. I, I cover it with a little bit of wax, another piece of wax paper, and just gently do that so that it that ear will adhere better and as you see I decided to use the exacto knife trying so careful. If I could come up with a better way to make the stencil stand out, I will share that tip. If, I, if it ever happens <laughs> that I do discover something else. But for now, This is the way we be doing it. So, I think I've already cut that area, so let me try to... See, lifted, obviously. There we go. And if you see it's not pulling apart, that means you didn't cut all the way through. So just go back in with your exacto knife before it's too late. Then you gotta start over, which believe me is not as relaxing. <laughs> I'm not I kinda like to do things that do relax me. But I have had a little fuss today for some reason with the clay. Now, it could be the weather we're having. I have no idea. Our weather, we never get any cold until December, uh, February. And then it's uh, only one, and usually only one unfortunate freeze. Which was really bad this year and killed a lot of my plants. So... That kind of wasn't great news. Um, there we go. Looks like we're succeeding. There we are. We now have, uh, hopefully in a minute here, I'll turn this around. then we'll give you a much better view. Oh, what was that view? Oh, that's lovely. Nice butt view there for, or behind view. I don't know, maybe that's behind. Now what? Oh my goodness, it's one thing after another. Okay, so kind of kneaded my clay back together that was left over, because we're gonna do some more. And this time I'm going to roll it in a paper towel. See if I don't get a little better uh, reaction. Because the other it became just too, um, I don't know, unmoist, I guess you might say. So I will figure that out in another video. But for now, we're going to go with the tried and true, which is wrapping it in a wet paper towel, not a baby wipe. Okay, now we've got this where we want it somewhat. Okay, we just want to take a little look at it. 
and you can see right there at the top there's a little crumble that was easy try to clean up your edges the pencil mark literally will leave you the with when the stencils on there guide but see I didn't put it close enough so that was my mistake I should have drawn that pencil I I cut outside the pencil line of the stencil because I had wanted a little different look but um, let's see if we can whoops do not want my fingernails in there that's my biggest problem is I mark up my project sometimes because of my fingernails I'm a little and ambidextral what is that <laughs> when you can use both hands um, to do things yeah I can't write though that's the only thing I can't do is right left hand oh tore my paper okay there we go been fiddling and messing with it it's time to take off our our stencil just I'm sure there'll be a part that will start to you know curl up so just go ahead and find that little curl up spot and there you go we have our kitty cat yeah, I don't know about that light. It, you know, there we go. Can you see the kitty cat? That's going to be the face. I'm going to paint on it. Okay. And I'm going to set it over here to dry because I'm sure I'm going to want to make another one. And one thing good about making a pattern like that is the fact that you can... Um, there's my thing. I can find my, my rolling pin is that you can repeat another cat that is the same size looks the same all that good stuff that makes unified craft okay so i i laid the wax paper over the top okay and now what i'm going to do very gently because i need small fingers to do this and i don't have them <laughs> It's just do a little bit of using a little bit of water to try to smooth away and to smooth our edges. Now, I don't know if anybody else out there in the air clay drying world likes it, but this big uh, old knitting needle has a big head on it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and you see that the ball of it is so ni is nice to use to smooth edges, um, things like that. And this is when you want to make those ears, you know, perfect. So come in with your knife and make sure everything is proportional and that you followed your pattern and didn't cut it all up so all I'm doing is packing see there that's what's called a mistake that's when my nail always loves to hit the, the smooth I'm just going to see if I can get that little blemish off there. That worked easy, actually. I'm going to smooth that ridge as well. And all I, I'm not putting any pressure. There is a heaviness to the bottom. Let me see if that works any better. it did yeah it did that's good good we're doing good guys yay 
this is from this is doing it by scratch not sticking it in a mold that you bought just using the little things you might have at your house besides not having the clay of course <laughs> I gotta have the clay um, and making something that's gonna be really cute so all I'm gonna do now is just tap my finger in just a little bit of water and try to smooth out my edges and be real careful around my ears like I said I do get quiet when I'm concentrating so the old brain here is <laughs> working if I'm quiet okay now what I want to do is transport this little cutie pie into um, on a piece of wax paper it's fresh so I can get a good peaky at the bottom as well please yes looking good looking good okay now what I want to do is just smooth this out a small bit I'm gonna just see whether doing a little wax paper smooth instead of adding more and more water Water it can be your friend with air clay and an enemy. You want your backsides of your projects to look nice, unless you're going to stick them on a canvas and you don't care. All is good, right? Maybe you want it a little more rustic. That's cool too. There we go. with that ear on this side. And we want the back side to look good just as much as the front. So, like I said, this is a very slow, relaxing project. A few tips are very necessary to know. Like not sticking your fingernail in the way of the clay. I mean, it just takes hardly any force. And your fingernail print will be there. Well, our little wax paper didn't quite smooth my project out as much as I had wanted on the back. So, we're just going to add a little bit of water. Added a little extra there. But... That's okay. I want my kitty cat to be pretty smooth. See, there's a fingernail mark right there. See, it just happens and I won't even know it half the time. I guess I need to get them cut a little shorter. I gave up doing acrylic nails because of, of this alone, because of the using of the clay. We've got a slight imperfection there, which I'm going to take care of. Actually, I think what we'll do is move our little baby right there. Because one ear, this one, Not looking as good, so. There we go. And to get into those spaces to, with your little bit of water, Sometimes a tool is necessary. I 
and I have a tendency to work fast. So one of the good things about this particular craft is you must slow down. It makes me have to slow down and appreciate the process of creating. This is just one little step. This little guy here, I'm gonna make several. And we're gonna, after that, they've dried. I will show, I will come back on a video and show you a little more about how um, it turns out and how to paint it, by the way. I'll, I'll show you uh, how to paint air dry clay. Looking good. <gasps> Did you all see that? See, this is what I mean. Un silly little things like that can just ruin your day. At this point, I'm going to grab some slip because I need some clay. Because now I've created a hole. We hope. We hope to do this. Can't believe that happened. Did y'all see that? Did y'all witness that? I did. Okay. Almost got it fixed. Almost. Still a little dot there. That's not good. Dang, dang, dang. It was so perfect. Oh, well. What do they say in art? A little imperfection makes your artwork stand out. A little bit of, little bit of bad, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's taking quite a bit to fill out that hole. If I do too much more... I'm going to end up spilling this on myself and ruining this project. So we're going to go ahead and stop at this point. We're going to let this little puppy dry. In fact, I want, I had a piece of fresh paper. We're going to just sit it on there, put it in a drawer. Lots of air circulating. That's been the way I've been doing it and all my projects turn out really nice and dried that way keep a set i'm so anal about being clean with this project um be clean with the project <laughs> okay I wanted, to, yeah, I wanted to do something there that, that don't i don't like my little fingerprints so I'm just gently, ever so gently, trying to gently, hopefully with that water, be able to get rid of your fingerprints because they don't always leave. They, they stay there. I've watched several videos of other people teaching this art. Uh, they don't mention that. I, I don't know why. Um, but sometimes... It works, and sometimes it don't. This time it taint, so it's probably because it's a little too damp. So I think what I'll do is just come back again, smooth it back out. I went too long, let my finger dry out, making the streaks. I think, I, I you know, it's a learning process. Okay. <laughs> Every project, I learn something new. And, you know, that's what's fun about crafts, right? That, that learning is something new. bus at the moment. There we go. So pray to 
touch it. <laughs> I'm trying to make that ear just a little bit more pointy. I think what I'm going to do is just stop. I'm, I'm even going to let it set up a little bit before trying to transfer it. I think. If you break on me, I'll be so mad. <laughs> There we go. Boom. Oh, the stress, I tell ya. The stress. And of course, I want to move all of this as quickly as possible. I don't want any of them little dried crumbs. I'll get that later. I just flung it across the room there. Okay, good. All right, everybody. We're going to make a little hole, and we're going to call it a video and say thank you for joining us, and uh, I look forward to making more videos for you. There we go. We got our little hole. I wish this would be a little... There we go. There we go. A little better. Cats have pointy ears. Yeah. So, but, anyway. Boom. Not going to touch it anymore. There you go, everybody. Oh, yeah. It just, I think it does good against that green background, doesn't it? You can pretty much see what it is. It's going to be a kitty cat. Got a hole here. In fact, matter of fact, in fact, matter of fact, I want to make a hole up here as well because I have a feeling that I want possibly to hang it. And if I don't, I can always put a bow there. All kinds of little different decor. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much for coming. If you've made it all the way through to the final product, uh, I surely appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That just lets you know when I upload a new air dry clay video, resin pour videos that are coming up. This is all going to be pulled full together by March 15th. But go ahead and subscribe now. That way, you know, you're, you're ready. Uh, you'll get your notifications. Hey, here comes a new upload. Uh, don't forget it's free. What's free in this world? Watching a channel on how to do art. I hope you've enjoyed it. I super enjoyed it. I love everyone out there. My heart goes out to the struggles and stress out there in the world today. My prayers are with the Ukrainians, etc. Don't want to go too far into that. Um, God bless everyone. We'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye for now.